We all know what dish racks and dish trainers are made for, but I have 14 other clever ways to use dish rack or dish trainers in the kitchen to organize and declutter. Keep watching. I'm Juliet Gregory and I normally share my life hacks like this one and DIY home decor. Thank you for joining us today. Sometimes we normally have drawer space, knives, but we don't know how to place them so that they are safe and you can access them. Dish trainer or a dish rack is one of the ways you can see. You can use, as you can see, they're facing down, so they're safe. You can see the different types. The scissors have their place and we're good to go. One of the other ways of using the dish rack and dish trainer is for your plastics and the lids. They can really take space in a kitchen or storage and they can be one of the reasons for much clutter, a lot of clutter. And so try my tip, try when you're buying, not to buy just circular and squares, try to buy types that can go into each other, like these ones are many, they're going into each other, they use less space. And as you can see, it fits right into that storage. So I don't know what type of storage you have, maybe it's a shelf, and maybe this drainer is bigger, they're usually the smaller size drainers also that you can use in the same way, depending on the space you have. You can also use the dish rack or dish drainer for organizing your leads for your saucepan or your sufurias. Sometimes they can give a headache when you're trying to organize them and find space. And as you can see, they're still left with some space on the side. If you don't have any other space to maybe put your muikos, your serving spoons on the side. Have you been wondering where to get a spice rack, why not use a dish drainer or a dish rack? Why not? It works the same way. Even if you have your spice jars, you can organize them on the side as you wish. If you have the paper ones, they would also fit very nicely. Another way to use this dish drainer and dish rack is under sink storage. Sometimes that place gets very disorganized. This helps by using the, the, helping it declutter and organize. And then sometimes you also get to see what you don't need or what you don't use often. I have my towels, my sponges, my cleaning material, extra hand wash for refill, my san sanitizers, even the broom and brush gets a place. As you can see, there's aqua guard there. In the card above and description below, watch the video and see many other ways of using AquaGuard apart from sanitizing water. You'll be surprised. It might make your life easier like it did mine. I hope I'm adding some value for you so far. And if I am, please subscribe and press the notification button. As you can see, the button is right down there for subscribing. You'll be part of my YouTube family and you'll get to know when my next DIY home decor video is out or when I'm sharing my life hack. And so let me show you the other use of the dish trainer or my dish rack. This is what I do specifically in my home as you can see. I put my chopsticks, my serving spoons, some tongs, knives, and as you can see the knives get a chance to stay facing down and safe and next to my cutlery set for spoons and forks it looks pretty like it was meant to be in here not on over the counter draining dishes I also find space for these knickknacks on the side my baking cutters my apple slicer one of the ways I personally use the dish trainer or the dish rack is for 
putting and organizing the wooden spoons as you can see my sieves measuring spoons and my mixer pins because sometimes it's cumbersome to put them back in the box so as we use them we like to wash and put them there on the side it makes the one drawer neat and organized my mwiko and the rolling pins for chapo and dough are too long but if you didn't have and but i have space here on the side but if you didn't have space even putting them there they are neater than just being everywhere at the same time they don't interfere with picking the chopping boards when i need to but for the moment i prefer them here because i have space as you can see, one of the other ways I use it is to organize my children's lunch bags and their lunch boxes, their bottles, their tiny spoons, sometimes straws. Sometimes those small, small bits can really disorganize your space. And this dish trainer or dish rack really helps me. And then I don't spend too much on other types of organizers. Yes, they are very good, but this works for me. So I just wanted to share with you. And then the good thing is I have, I'm left with space on the side to put my packaging, even for the school snacks, the Ziploc bags, you can see some rubber bands, cling film, foil, any of the other bags there for storage, get their space. You can also use it for a selection of snacks for your drawers and it makes it easier or for your cabinets it makes it easier for the kids to find different snacks because it's easy to organize and that way also it can be an easy way of keeping track of what is remaining what are the kids eating are they eating too much of the junk you know depending on your quarters or what your agreement is with your family and your kids For some countertops, you can organize them and declutter them by putting your post-its, your coupons, let's say for water, if people deliver water to you, if you there's something you buy often, sometimes you can organize your receipts, your to-do list or your shopping list, you can put it in here, maybe reminders for your kids. They need to carry to school some letters and but most of all i love this because you can use the dish trainer or the dish rack even for putting your cooking books and organizing them on the counter easy accessible and you have space to do with as you wish maybe even put in your keys when you come home another way of using the dish rack or the dish trainer is for folding and organizing and keeping your dish towels, hand towels for the kitchen, your gloves, your apron, you have mittens there, the silicone mats for protecting your surfaces or the, like the SISO ones at the back for protecting the surfaces. And you can have more depending on how you'd like to organize the place. And it fits right in. Sometimes you have so many other knickknacks in the house from the cookie cutters, egg shapers for frying, ice cream scoops, tongs, some serving spoons, salad spoons, and you don't know how to organize them because they don't have one space they can go to. One of the things you can do is use again the dish rack and dish trainer. I hope if you have space for the dish trainer and dish rack. That's one of the ways you can use it. Sometimes you don't have the space, maybe even on the shelf, but if you do, this is one of the ways you can use it. One other way we can use the dish rack or dish trainers is for storing or organizing baking sheets, baking pans, measuring spoons, mixer pins, 
any of those things that you need and are usually hard to organize because they're different sizes, shapes, and they can really clutter up a kitchen or a storage space. Especially when you're starting out and you don't have many things, even after using the dish rack or dish drainer for washing dishes or drying your dishes, you can pick and get another one or use the same for storage. Like in this case, you don't have too many things but they are enough to fit in the rack. It can help you stay organized. Few dishes fit nicely and neatly. I hope you learned something new today or you have an extra tip for us. Please comment in the description below. I would love to hear from you. Please subscribe, press the notification button and keep watching. God bless you. Barakatelet.